Anyway, guys, I'm in my car, so I've been in my mum and my my dad's grave. I showed you where <coughs> I was fetched up from Maple Grove when I was a little kid and uh, walked behind my brother's tiny white coffin. And this was during the war, by the way. The bombing was still going on. And it showed you the other house that we moved to, where a few yards away, a house was bombed. That was quite frightening. And I was still young, but I, I didn't really, really understand the dangers that surrounded me at that time. But I learned things went into my brain that I'll never forget. And when you try and tell your grandchildren that, they just, they think you're telling stories. You are telling stories, but the true ones. And then I showed you where my mates lived, on the little areas we had to play in, little tiny streets, little tiny roads. There, there wasn't that amount of cars then. Yeah, no way. Um, no one could afford a car. Um, so those streets you see, ah, oh, it's um, it was very, very difficult to, to, to believe how, how it's changed. But then, of course, I got older and my mother and father had to go to another little flat because... I moved out at that time, had a relationship, moved out and um, started to settle down, perfected my judo, boxing, my karate and started a little bit of Aikido, which wasn't very well known at them, them times. But um, I did all that and a bit of piano playing and then I started to have children my first marriage, my first relationship, Jane and Paula, and they used to go and visit my mum and dad, their nanny and granddad, unlike I get, because the situation is not like it used to be. Um, and I'm going to show you the little place now where my mother and father ended up their lives. A little second floor, new flat, so they downsized. I didn't need a garden anymore, too much for them. Like I'm thinking now actually, that my garden's getting too much for me. But I'll turn the thing around and show you. called Brentley <clears throat> and this is where my my mother and father helped me out when my my relationship with the children broke up and that's it up there my Jane and my Paul used to actually go up there Up one of those flats there. Mum and my mum and dad used to be at that balcony, wave to us when we went. Really sad. And that's where my mother died. and carried out there. Oh well. The next lot part of my visit is going to be where my wife Susan and I met while I was at college. I was living in here before my mum and dad died by the way. And I had to go backwards and forwards to college on a motorbike and I had to go backwards and forwards to um, 
the college and the courts when I was trying to get access to my children, to gain access to my children, which was quite difficult. But I managed to get access, and that's when my mother and father see my Jane and my Paula and my Craig, and that was and that, that, that was what I used to say for the weekends. I had to fight for that weekend. Well, it wasn't given to me. I had to fight for that, fight for that access. But I got it. It took time, but I won. And that was when my mother died and left left my dad, who stayed there and had to have home help and home cooking. And then my wife and I decided to I'm moving a little bit. My wife and I decided to um, Sorry, I was uh, on a mess then. Someone parked right in front of me, idiot. Anyway, my wife and I decided, my Susan and I decided to get a job at a place called the Jacobs Club in London, east end of London. We got a little flat. Our first daughter was born, Laura, and we stayed there for a year, year and a half before my wife decided to. She was fed up, I'm fed up, because of the place was not what we wanted for my young daughter to go up. So I got another job at the Beavers Farm Youth Centre. It's called the Beavers, I was a new, new centre. In actual fact, I was in London then, working in London, in the east end of London, and it's funny because here I'm gonna go back now to my old haunts, Hounslow, where, where I'd brought up. And we're going to try and find that place now. See you later.